welcome back to Tame Slade Info. This video will provide another vital update regarding South Korea's KF-21 next generation fighter. On January 17, 2023, the KF-21 fighter conducted a supersonic flight test for the first time and the test was carried out by the third flying training wing of the Republic of Korea Air Force. The main aim behind performing this test is to verify the structural stability of the aircraft at supersonic speed. And this has become a grand success for South Korea. The supersonic flight test was performed using prototype number 1. As per the different sources, the KF-21 fighter prototype broke the sound barrier by flying at supersonic speed at an altitude of 12,000 meters for almost 40 minutes before it landed safely. Whenever any fighter travels at supersonic speed, which is like exceeding the speed of sound, shock waves occur on the aircraft's surface, such as its wings, and this is due to air drag. This unsteady airflow, which exits surrounding the aircraft, might impact the structure of the aircraft, and this test proves that KF-21 is successful in handling the air drag and shock waves very successfully. In continuation to this supersonic flight test, South Korea will conduct more intensive supersonic test flights and this time, these tests would be done by flying the KF-21 at a higher altitude and at a faster speed. Post all trials and tests, the manufacturing is scheduled to begin in 2026 and it is said that at least 40 aircrafts are planned to be delivered by 2028 and with South Korea expecting to deploy a total of 120 KF-21 by 2032 tentatively. It is also said that these KF-21 will also be available for export market. It is indeed a great and historic achievement by South Korea in developing the first supersonic aircraft with domestic technologies. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.